What is cooking? What is poppin'? My name is Pad Chennington. Now, if you know me, you know I'm not really into cassettes. Over the years, I've built up a pretty proud record collection and never dove much into the cassette culture, an audio medium that never truly died out with the format distilled into a niche but very strong collector community, especially in the online scene with platforms like Bandcamp and Discogs preserving the charm and the value of rare or noteworthy cassettes. Now this isn't to say I don't have cassettes at all. Um, I've picked up a couple along my music collecting journey. However, today I'm going to give you not only an unboxing video, but more of a tour of what is easily the most beautifully produced cassette tape I have ever seen. I want you to take my hand and explore the enchanting, the fascinating, the ever so grand towers on cassette. From the packaging to the design layout, type work to the cassette itself, this is a beautiful piece of art that sold out in mere minutes upon its release. I knew that once this came in, I had to create a sort of preservation video to showcase the craft that went into this release. So sit back, get cozy, and take a leap of faith with me as we dive into the skyscraper cemetery known as Towers. If you've been with me on this channel for a bit, you know this is an album I completely fell in love with upon discovery. I even did an entire video on its production history and at least my perception of its narrative or story. For those who have never heard of the album before, Towers is a 2019 release from producers Any Loeb and I'm Co Pav, who together also go as Towers. The album is only four tracks long, yet contains about just around an hour of material. The release explores heightened sensations of vast emptiness in a world forever shrouded in nighttime, thousands and thousands of towering buildings with all the lights on, yet nobody occupying them. The surreal and overly stretched synths and drone undertones create one of the most dark yet soothing ambient driven experiences I've ever heard to date and I cannot recommend this album enough. Like I said, I've created an entire video on this release going into real depth, so go check that out if you want to see more about it. I'll leave a link in the description below to ease up your travels. But today, we are spending our time together exploring the physical entity of the album all brought to life by the amazing work of one of my favorite labels, Geometric Lullaby. You already know what it is, Geolull has produced some of the most beautiful cassettes the online community has ever seen, and most of these releases sell out in minutes. Unless you're there for that immediate drop, you'll almost always find nothing at all for sale over there because the catalog is just usually always sold out, and this Towers cassettes might be their best work to date. Taking it out of the box, the cassette comes nice and protected in a little plastic sleeve, and this might not seem like a big deal to most people, but for me at least, that extra layer of protection is not only helpful, but gives the cassette that much more depth, almost emphasizing and glorifying the contents within. It really makes it feel like this prized possession or just something really valuable. As in usual geometric lullaby fashion, they always include little extras or trinkets with their physicals and we get a peek on the inside showing us this release will be absolutely no different. Opening this bad boy up, we get a sticker of that gorgeous GL logo. We'll add this onto my carrying case uh, for the RX2 and a tarot card. Tarot cards are something of a commonplace over at geometric lullaby. You'll usually find one of these included in your purchase. On the Bandcamp listing for this thing, the photo for the Towers cassette has it paired with a The Tower card, which is super dope and would have been really cool to have with this, but I'm sure every cassette just got paired with a random card, so it's all good. On to the packaging itself. Now you know me, I'm a big fan of the OB Strip. OB Strips, if you don't know, are these really cool bands that wrap around physical releases. Most of the time, we'll find them on Japanese or Japanese-inspired vinyl record packaging, but Geometric Lullaby almost always includes these for their cassettes, and it is such an essential touch, in my opinion, on the cassette medium. These strips provide even more depth to the artwork and the packaging of the cassette for a medium not as big as, let's say, vinyl. You know, that can optimize some really awesome artwork alone to stick out as a cool piece to showcase on a shelf. Cassettes are obviously kind of puny, so layering on more and more pieces to a cassette release can be a huge push 
for collectors and that visual aspect. And for those like me who aren't really collectors for cassettes at all, to pick up a copy. As you can tell, I really like the concept of layers and physical releases. It makes everything feel so much more hearty and grand, a way to really make it all worth collecting, disassembling, and checking out. The multiple materials present with the protective pouch, cardboard obi strip, and plastic jewel case allow for concrete contrast throughout the packaging, but what further elevates the entire presentation of this cassette specifically even more is the contrast used between the design and layout of the obi strip on top of the dark and straightforward artwork of the album itself on the J card. With the album artwork primarily filled with emptiness and shrouded in only two main colors, black and purple, the white obi strip and colorful hierarchy of elements and typography make this thing pop even more. The layout and design choices on the obi strip almost make no sense with the tower's artwork and I just can't tell you how much I love it all. The off-putting combination of the two with a price tag at the bottom of the obi is all super sketchy and makes you feel like you'd find this on a discounted cleaning product shelf in a Japanese convenience store late in the middle of the night. And the cassette itself, an A side being more tamed and simple with a B side popping off in this creamy sky blue color, that big bold double overlaid towers type exploding out, just an ominous and haunting call for you to play this brilliant piece of music. Towers has been long sold out for a while, but a couple weeks ago, Geometric Lullaby put up a repress of 50 copies on the site alongside four other previous releases, all with a repress of 50 as well. As you can guess, all of these sold out extremely fast, and I made sure I was there the moment they dropped because I was not going to miss out on this fascinating piece of music, you know, all alive in the most beautiful way possible. We all have our vinyl wish list, and for me, seeing this thing on vinyl would be incredible. Hopefully, Geometric Lullaby and Towers one day can bring that to us because that would just be so sick. So, hey, fingers crossed, and maybe one day we'll see it. Let myself and others know in the comments below of any other albums you'd love to see get dropped on cassette or vinyl, and how you'd imagine the packaging or artwork to be for it all. Would love to see what you can all come up with. Furthermore, if this is your first time here and you love exploring fascinating music, make sure you've hit that subscribe button, turned all notifications on, hit the like button. You know the deal. Not only does it help the channel out a whole bunch, but I just can't wait to see you again for a future video and have you back to get lost in the wonderful world of hidden and lesser known music with me. Lastly, I invite you to check out my Patreon page if you want to gain access to some really cool rewards and exclusive benefits, all while helping out the channel as it really goes a long way. And I just cannot thank everyone enough who has already joined. So yeah, thanks for watching, take care, and we will talk soon, all right? Much love, your boy, Pat Channington.